Okay, I also wanted to go over a little more detailed on the actual swap process, getting the engine bolted in there. Obviously, once you get your 4 liter or whatever else you've got in there out, you've got a big hole. You can kind of see right down there is where I cut the old mounts off and how far back in there the new mounts are and you just kind of get it opened up and get started with that so the the adapter kit is the most expensive part and I went with the TD conversions that are they're updating some stuff now but it is just simply a plate a series of plates I should say that bolt to the engine and then bolt to the transmission and it basically just hooks right in like you're putting the, the factory engine right back in there and gives you a nice little starter to go with it and lines right up with that and then if you slide under here you can also get these motor mounts at least the engine side comes right from TD conversions as well you get your engine bolted to the transmission and get it set where you want it and then decide how you want that to fit and I literally welded my bracket right to the old upper link mount which I know might not be an option for some people but it was for me and you could do it a bunch of different ways if you needed to go the other way around that's just what I happen to do and yeah that Rubicon Express pan really pushes everything up in there pretty tight and then if we go around here the passenger side or the driver side I should say is a little tighter to get everything in there but again mounted to the frame at the same spot and to the engine it worked really well having a long arm kit already and then all the accessories are are all Volkswagen and they actually almost everything hooks right right to the the Jeep stuff so you don't really have to spend money on a whole bunch of other adapters to make the Jeep stuff fit if you don't want to and yeah then the electrical it all hooks up to the engine and I ran it through that hole along with gauge wires and other things and it actually all you're not going to be able to see it but it all fits inside of the dash there i've got the computer under the steering wheel and any excess wiring that i didn't feel like cutting off it all just got coiled up in there and yeah i mean then the hoses you've got to fabricate everything the way you want it to look and the intercooler and the all the piping for that just came right off of eBay. Now if you just leave the factory turbo, which I did for quite a few years, it will be down much lower, closer to the motor mount, but it still clears just fine. And yeah, I mean, it, it just really comes together really well and the nice thing about leaving the front of the engine open and not doing a crossover motor mount there is anytime you do need to do any water pump or timing belt work it's really easy so yeah and the other thing is I didn't a lot of kits move the engine forward to give you more room 
obviously I have a ton of room in front of the engine, but the nice thing about this was I already had everything else in place where I wanted it so I could just bolt this in and go. And it just took so little time to get it up and running. It was pretty amazing. So I think, I think that's everything I wanted to say. So there you go.